Trap jaws have evolved at least four or five times across the ants. And what this means is that at multiple times in history, ants have transitioned to having some kind of elastic mechanism and a latch using slightly different muscles and slightly different structures to achieve the same outcome, which is stored elastic energy advance in advance and rapid release of the energy. So while they all share that trap jaw system with the latch and the spring elastic head capsule, they are, they're actually doing quite different things with the jaws. A lot of these ants are actually targeting defended prey, meaning prey that, that uh, release noxious chemicals or do really dramatic defense mechanisms. And what the trap jaw ants do is they actually knock out the prey item before it has a chance to respond with a noxious response, rather than being this classic predator prey pursuit scenario with these fast jaws. The trap jaw ants actually they, when they go to strike something, it's not like they're running after a prey item and then slam it. They actually walk up, do a measurement with their antennules, and then they slam their mandibles closed on the prey item. So it's quite difficult to actually manage these incredibly powerful weapons. And it's not, it tends not to be in a pursuit framework. So going along with the issue of being difficult to manage these very powerful weapons is this other thing that some ants do with their jaws. They have developed mechanisms that are so powerful and they can generate such high impacts with their jaws that with each jaw, they're generating over 400 times their body weight, which means that when they strike with their jaws, they actually launch themselves backwards. And it, it's, it's, in some cases, that seems to be okay. In other cases, it looks like this sort of ridiculous blooper. But essentially, some ants can actually, um, when they're when they're being approached by a predator, they actually bend their head forward, load up their jaws, and then fire their jaws against the ground and launch themselves up into the air. And it turns out these ants are really, really hardy, and they're very sturdy, and not much bothers them. So what we figured out is that just to put a tiny little bit of wax on their head and a toothpick and then mount it underneath the microscope and then put my high-speed video camera on top of that and then film them through the scope and we could film at, um, I think the max we've ever done is somewhere around 100 or 120,000 frames per second through the microscope to be able to slow down the jaws enough to actually see what they're doing. And what we discovered from that study was that basically they're moving insanely fast, over 60 meters per second, um, sub-millisecond time scales. The jaws are generating huge accelerations to generate high impact forces, essentially. Trap jet ants are using these jaws in such a diversity of mechanisms. They're, it's just, it's mind boggling. As is always the case, ants are sort of the epicenter of diversity other than beetles. So you, you want to find something interesting, you can look in the ants. <laughs>